Um, hello everyone. At the moment, I am going to talk about the past papers of uh, Statistic One. That is paper 62, May June uh, 2019. Uh, let's start. Um, this is the question number one. Two ordinary fire dice are thrown, and the numbers obtained are noted. Event S is the sum of the numbers is event. Event T is the sum of the number is either less than six or multiple of four or both. Showing your working determine whether the event event S and T are independent. Now uh, here is that is the possibility. A diagram to show the number of dots uh, on the facing of a die uh, facing up after being rolled. Those, this is the number of dots uh, facing up of on the first die after being rolled. Those one, two, three, four, five, and six, and this is the number of dots on the second die one two three four five and six and here that is the sum of the dots on the first and second die those here that is one plus one two uh, three plus one is four etc and five plus one is six or that is six plus six is twelve now uh, the event S is the sum of the number is event. Those um, the event S, uh, the event S that is uh, marked at a circle, uh, blue circles. Those that is in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Those in total, there, there is 18. Those probability of even S that is 18 out of in total here that is uh, 6 times 6 is 36. Those 18 per 36 or that is uh, is half. Even T is the sum of the numbers is either less than 6 or multiple of 4 or both. And that is uh, marked with cross in this uh, diagram. Those 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Those that is 16 out of 36. Those probability of event T that is uh, marked with cross uh, red in this diagram that is. 16 out of 36 that is equals 4 over 9 now then even s intersect t that is marked with a cross in a circle and we can count it those for even s intersect t that is a blue circle with cross in that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10. Those uh, probability of S intersecting that is 10 per 36. That is equals 5 per 18. Now, <clears throat> from this uh, probability of S and probability of T, we can multiply it. Those PS times PT that is half times 4 over 9. That is 2 over 9. Since PS times PT unequals P, S intersect T or probability S times probability unequals probability of S intersect T unequals unequals so the event S and T are not independent. Now question number two. The volume of ink in a certain type of ink cartridge has a normal distribution with mean 30 mm and a standard deviation 1.5 mm. People in an office use a total of 8 cartridges of this ink per month. Find the expected number of car cartridges per month that contain less than 28.9 mm of this ink. 
the the volume of ink in the cartridge uh, that is the random variable reduce that is normally distributed with um, mean per time milliliter and the variance 1.5 squared now first we have to calculate the probability of the um, cartridge uh, contains less than 28.9 milliliter of this ink thus px less than 28.9 now here we will use the standard standardizing formula that is z equals x minus mu per sigma mu is the mean and the sigma is that is the standard deviation and x is that is 28.9 Thus, <coughs> PZ less than 28.9 minus 30 per 1.5. Yeah, that is the standard deviation, 1.5. Thus, equals PZ less than uh, minus 0.733, etc. Now, by using calculator or tables, uh, standard normal tables, we obtain that probability for x uh, less than 28.9, that is 0 0.23168. Now, the expected number of, of a cartridge that is 8 times the probability of x uh, less than uh, 28.9, that is 8 times this one, um, 0 0.23168, that is uh, 1.85 uh, to 3 significant figures, yeah, accurate to 3 significant figures, so that is uh, 2. Yeah, to the expected number of cartridge per month that contain less than 28.9 mm of this ink that is uh, two, about 2 no. uh, that is all for now see you in the next video thank you